Judge Dina Calabrese, Cleveland, Ohio. John Hawk, Cleveland police officer. Former MMA fighter, I guess it was 2009 to 2016. Punches his girlfriend, a mother. Breaks her nose. She gets a concussion. Cleveland Cup. Yeah, he gave up his certification to be a police officer anymore. Whatever. Oh, they also charged him with kidnapping and felonious assault and all that other pretty stuff. They got a plea deal. Dude got rewarded. This is how the judges are, y'all, in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm going to think about giving you an example of a case I was, I was brought to by an attorney in Tennessee to warn me about one of my own situations. Jason, watch yourself. Okay, so I looked at the case and stuff. Dude got rewarded. Y'all follow what I'm saying here? He got rewarded for breaking a mother's nose, giving her a concussion. Two years probation. I mean, if I was a judge on this thing, I'd be like, whoa. I expect this new guy's this guy's new job or whatever it's gonna be fine. You don't want to put him in prison, which people go into prison, they come out more violent, violenter. I don't think that's a word, violenter, violentist. <laughs> more violent coming out when, when than when they came in. Okay, so there's got to be a way, y'all. We saw what happened. Well, you can see what happened. We saw the. You know, you know, the news everywhere, right? I'm down here in Florida, okay? So, okay, the, the case I, I heard about was in Dipolito or something like that, and, and I'm just a few miles away. Well, something, maybe 100, maybe like 50 or something. Boynton Beach. This woman, tried, she wanted to murder her husband and take everything he had, whatever. He had a condo or something. To him, you know, to her, it was a lot of money, like a quarter million, maybe $300,000, whatever it was. Oh my God, I'm trying to catch myself here. The point that you know I'm bringing up here because because the attorney pointed me out to this in Nashville, Tennessee. You know, watch this stuff. This is real, Jason. What's going on with me and my situation? But the the woman, she ended up getting 20 years, and you know she could have gotten I guess 30 years. But the judge really looked at this stuff and said, you know, I got to look at a few factors, and I watched the. The YouTube, maybe I should get a link for that. He really evaluated things. I'm like, wow. He wanted to make a point to society that you don't do this. This woman had a plot to just, it didn't happen. It was a conspiracy to, you know, uh, solicit murder or something like that. Just whacked out weird stuff, right? So, and the judge made a point that we want to make it to clear to society that this is absolutely unacceptable. And also, uh, 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 how to rehabilitate the person. Maybe there's a chance, because I guess she'll be like in her early 40s when she gets out. And also, the third one was, the, the, the big ones that I really noticed, okay, was a punishment, an actual punishment to really go through this. This dude's getting off the hook. I mean, big time. You know, uh, I thought about the situation with my own case. You can look at it. Well, maybe I should put the case number or something in there. The last name in, you know, involved in my case, H-E-R-B-I-N. I'm the victim, y'all. And I couldn't, I mean, the judge, you know, the prosecutor, we're, 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 we're trying to figure out what we're going to do for this guy. And, he was looking at, at felonious assault. It was a, he ended up pleading out a three fel, fel, felony three, and whereby he'd be looking at like prison, which he didn't get a day in prison, which I was glad. But I, I know how bad it is. It doesn't it doesn't rehabilitate people considering the system, system that we have. What what I mean, I'm glad that you know what happened. I mean that hey, we we realize that this is a, a felony matter. It's very serious. This shows how broken our justice system is that a judge will look at a cop and say, okay, well, we're pretty much just going to give this guy the best reward we possibly can. 
which was, you know, probation, like what? And I mean, we're helping this guy already, but the society is going to look at this like, well, hmm, not only can a cop treat a mother just like this, breaking her nose, and I'm a father whereby I've had issues with the courts to just to, you know, find my children. I'm the kind of man that, well, what, what, what can I possibly do? And I've been accused of these. Hello. <laughs> I've talked about them all over the place. Like Facebook, and Twitter, and YouTube, and my blog. I write books about it. Totally false reports. And this dude gets, you know, what should I get? You know, hello. I mean, I'm, you know, my children are, are, the, are the ones getting punished, you know. Have one well, that are have been. I mean, I, I I write books about this. Like, whoa, what's going on here? What? Dina Calabrese. That's the problem here, y'all. I mean, just the, what that judge in the Boynton Beach case did was. I mean, I'm, I was actually impressed. Really, 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 you know, evaluated so many different aspects and angles of this thing. By the way, it took that. DiPolito, whatever, like three trials. I got to put that in there though, in the description for y'all. What, what else am I to say? I, I mean, I'm thinking about what else am I going to say? Wait, really, what else do I need to say? Cleveland police officer breaks girlfriend's nose, is rewarded with a dude who might have some brain damage. I mean, I, I, I have documented brain damage from hereditary neurological diseases. And I can't even get a judge to hear any of my cases. But you know what? I'm going to be thankful for it because I know it's working together for good. Wow. Dina Calabrese. What a whore. This is why your county is, and you're all sick too. Ah, I have so much corona on me. I mean, it's, it's you know, I've been to, I don't know how many airplanes. One, two, three, four, five, I don't know, during, during your pandemic. How many buses, just for the fun of it? How many, those overhead train things? Uh, yeah, the long buses, the Greyhound, that's just for the fun of it, because, you know, I could. I had the time, and what else were we going to do, right? And then the mega bus, I did that. That was cool. That was a different time. Wait, did I do it during the pandemic? I don't think so. But I've been all over the place. Grocery store galore. I'm healthy. <laughs> wow. I, you know, what else am I going to say about this? The Cleveland police. You little punks, man.